Well, we're almost there, and we're about to get sucked into oblivion by the looks of it. Hey everyone, RSKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2! What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, sure, I didn't even touch it that time. Last time, we made our way through the entirety of World Side, finishing everything we can do at the moment, and we got the Junior for the final time in Bowser Jr.'s Bunker. And this time, we start our exploration of the final world of the game. The center of the universe. And we have a new galaxy here that I am excited for. Melty Monster Galaxy. This name probably sounds familiar if you've listened to the music of Smash Brothers. So, let's jump in and to do that justice, I'm really gonna listen to the music that they get in as well. I'll tell you that lava thing, I found out what the name was. This is where I was alluding to the last time that we were it again. They're called Magmaws. I think this is their first appearance. And as a little bit of trivia, they actually have two separate names because there's two variants of them. I'm just gonna stick with Magma because I tried to pronounce the other one and I could not do it and I couldn't figure out how to pronounce it either. It, it's the weirdest thing. Look it up. Just, Magma variant or something like that. It's, it's here. Like similar but not. <laughs> anyway, the magnificent magma stage. audio spike then. I wanted to let y'all listen to the music for a moment. Because it is pretty good music. Anyway, we have to avoid these magmas here. They're gonna rise out of these, like, lava planets, I guess. They're not really stars. They're gonna rise out of the planet and consume a section of the, uh, push our path. I want that last room, but at the same time, it might be a bit of a... How do you get that idea? Yeah, it's definitely not like that. I'm just gonna leave that mushroom. I'm not entirely sure how to get it. There's definitely something going on with the full stars here that you have to like sling yourself to it, but it's not exactly working out on this. Okay. Okay, let's sling ourselves across. And yo, that was barely it. Whoop, jump back. Yeah, I was just in the mic then if you heard it, you sang then. This is a cool concept here. I remember this planet. The concept of just having tidal waves of magma is such a cool idea! And it's kind of like the 3 equivalent of what they're now doing in Mario Maker and the uh, new Mario Brothers game! Ow! It is pretty hard to avoid though. You can't really jump over it too easily. It is technically possible, but it, yeah, I don't advise trying it. Yeah, as long as you stay high up, you can avoid the magma wave. You can tell based on where the egg ground is scorched, how high the lava will get. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. I guess I didn't really need to sweat that life right here, because there's another right here. How high is that wave gonna get? It is a little trickier to tell on these poles, because unlike the ground, somehow these poles are scorched through. You also cannot cap the top of them and then climb all the way up to a headstand. That would be a little far to prevent that. I'm gonna see the jump away across here, over this lava, oh god. Yeah, this is one of my favorite galaxies just because it really sets the tone for this final world. If you if you play Galaxy 1, this is kind of this game's counterpart to Melty Molten Galaxy for that game. I personally think this galaxy is the better of the two. It isn't nearly as open at all, but it is absolutely, like, it sets a far better tone. That 
then there's not meteors raining down from the sky that are super annoying to avoid, I might add. Hey, okay. That's it's sad. There's another mag mob there. We have these little uh spinny dailies over here. That's our official name. Nice birth. <laughs> uh, we have these things that will rotate how depending on how we walk on them. The best thing I can tell you with these things is try and get across them fast. I don't think there's any secrets on them, at least not in, not right now. Uh, let's jump across this platform because, uh, yeah, he, he wants to make that platform hit me Ow! If you're wondering, it's not instant cook to get hit by those things or anything, it's just, you get burned. It's just fire damage. But, in an area like this, getting hit once and then running around like a madman with your butt on fire, Probably means you're gonna run right off the platform. We have these twisters that I imagine must be ridiculously hot right now, but if you spin in them, I don't know how the physics of this work. Mario becomes a propeller. Like, I don't understand how this works. It'd be one thing if he spun around, but his head remains stationary. How does this work? <laughs> Mario likes tails, and he just has like a dedicated biological like gear in his neck that just allows him to twist it entire body around. That's what I'm going with. Ow! Oh, yeah, I thought I could make it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Uh, you can get real unlucky. You wanna grab on this? I'm gonna give you that coin. I wonder if you can land on this planet, actually. Nope! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what I get for being curious! Okay, let's get back up there. I do kind of remember where the comet metal is. We have to look for one of those as well. Uh oh. Eh. Yeah, this might be kind of far. I believe this goes until you hit the ground. However, you start falling to the ground pretty fast once you go for a while. I don't think it's based on distance from the tornado like it might be in some games that use a summoner mechanic. I think it's just how long are you in the Let's get in this launch star and head to our final planet, which, oh boy, that's infested. These are the variants of the magmas I was talking about. They have a, uh, much more interesting name. And some of you in the audience might recognize these games from Mario Maker 2. Yep, this is where they got their start. <laughs> really since similar to this. Uh-oh! Yeah, they run across the planet scorching these Boulders. The black ones are in the line of fire. Uh, I'm not getting those points. That is the key. I don't need them anyway. There's our star up there, but we need to get a look at for a comet metal somewhere. These plants do have full 360 gravity, so you don't have to worry about falling off. There's our comet metal. Up there. And let's go. Uh, run, run. These guys do move just slightly faster. So, if you're running away from them, you need to run pretty fast, and if you're running toward them, don't run toward them. Ah! Also, long jumping can be a little screwy here, not gonna lie, because there's so many planets that have their own individual gravity. Uh, time to jump off. And our power star is all the way over there, let's just long jump over. Do that! That's the wrong planet! That's the wrong planet! Okay. And star! Yeah, I really like this guy because it, like, is a median challenge. But, unlike some of the galaxies right before this, it's not as jarring. Like, World 5, I consider to be one of the hardest worlds, just because of how jarring it is compared to World 4. About the difficulty. And while this is also a pretty substantial increase, I wouldn't say it's as much. I can, you can ease into it way better. Also, I'm gonna mention this right now, World 5 is pretty linear, and there's, it also has the most star checkpoints out of any world we've seen so far. You've also got something down here. Another hungry mouse to feed? I hope you know what you're doing. Ah! It's like our latest edition won't have a word with you, Captain. More gambling! I'm actually show this off because this is incredibly useful. And I kinda remember getting this 
Dragon Warrior 5, but no, it's World 6 that you get access to this. So, this one. Wanted 30 star bits for a chance to spin a chance cube. But now we have this new one. The difference here is that this one takes coins. I actually forgot about this, but if you give him 100 coins, you can spin 5 chance cubes. By the time you get to this point in the game, you aren't using any coins on Starship Mario for anything other than this, and you probably have at least a thousand like I have, and I haven't been going through all the coins I can get. You probably have more than that for the rest of the game, but you can spin five chance cubes. They're just like the one you get from him, but there's five of them, and you have way better odds of getting a ton of lives. So it's, it's pretty good! Now, would you, would I suggest you do this over the life grinding method back in, uh, Supergiant Galaxy? Not at all. That is still absolutely the better way. But if you just need some quick lies, like I might at the beginning of an episode, that is an option. Let's jump back into Melting Monster Galaxy. We do have some errors ahead, though, and we have a hundred... Bleh, bleh, bleh. A hundred of left pretty early on. And we have a pretty linear trail here. That needs... That checkpoint needed 60 stars, which we have more than enough of by this point, but we have a pretty linear line over there. It's not the previous words where it's pretty spread out. You just kind of have to go through this gauntlet, but let's do it in order, shall we? A throw down rolling lane. Give me a little less lava in this one and a little more skill. And I remember liking this mission, but I also remember having enough difficulty with it for a certain thing to happen. And I don't know if that's, like, specific to this mission or what. But we're gonna find out. Hi, Weech! You know what this means? Weech gets to play with the fire. Yeah. Except not ready, because there's no lava in this mission. You know, aside from those giant glowing spears of lava. So we have a rock mushroom, and I'm gonna point off right off the bat, there's a warp pipe down here. I'm not jumping in that right now. You can probably figure out what that means. But we have a launcher that we see takes us to a, uh, very interesting, like, obstacle course over there. Let's see what that's about. This is gonna be our main method of transportation, is launching off of those ramps between planets. I'm stupid good music. I love this song, guys. I cannot... Like, this is probably my second favorite song in the game after Fluffy Bluff thing. It's that good. But we have these trampoline things again, which, if we roll into them, will bounce off of them. Oh, God! Uh, don't jump, though. Don't, don't, jump. I was trying to stop, and, uh, I jumped. Whoops. Eh. Yeah, we have a bit of an obstacle course ahead of us. That's... Uh, I'll do that. Okay, we actually need to jump up on that platform. Let's get a running start. Yeah, and as we're hitting that bridge, it comes crashing down. Let's ramp across. And now we have a non-stop obstacle course. Uh, let's grab this one up. Thankfully, we don't have to grab these starbits from this thing. Uh-oh, here we go. Alright, I remember having trouble with this mission. I don't remember where and why. It's been a long time since I've done this. Uh, it's probably around here, actually, but I haven't yet. No, it, was, it would have been here. We need to bounce off the trampolines, and this really messes with the controls. Woo! I did it first try. Okay. Now, that mission can go really well or really poorly, I found. But. I remember having enough trouble with this mission when I was uh, playing this game for the first time that I had a certain event happen. And I don't actually know if we're going to see this event happen in my Let's Play just because, well, I'm relatively good at the game, I would say, now. But if you die enough times in a level, something happens. And I don't know if it's for every single level. It might only be for some of them. But this is definitely one of those missions where if you die enough times, something happens that essentially 
will let you skip the level while obtaining the star. It's not something I intend on using, but if I had the opportunity to show it off, I absolutely will, because it's pretty cool. It's still kind of cheap, if you ask me, because this game isn't... I mean, it's challenging, but it's not like... Awful ter challenging, but it is pretty cool how this game handles it, I think. Anyway, we definitely have a secret mission in multiple if you, if you probably caught on. So let's jump back into the second mission and do our secret star. Or first, what? Is it in the first mission? I don't remember it being in the first mission, but apparently. What? Oh, it's here too. So, I guess it's gonna be accessed from either mission. We're gonna do it here, I guess. It's the- it's your boy, the chimp! <laughs> Look here to decide the show out. It's happened to the house of the chimp. You ready for something new? Just roll over the enemies up ahead. So, you game, or what? Come on, you'll do it right. There we go. Alright, let's see if you got what it takes, pal. Grab a rock mushroom over there. You can get more than 5,000 points or more. Wow, I, if you can get more than 5,000 points or more, great reading. Then maybe I'll give you a star. There we go. No time limit, but we have to get more than a certain amount of points. Never turn to hit as many of these guys as we can in one go. If we get too close, they disappear, so don't run up to them. As a general rule of thumb, don't go into the blue platform. That's close enough! Wow, I didn't even know you could get a curveball in this! I, I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen. Every time I've lost this, it's been from not enough points. Not actually rolling off! Uh, take two! Yeah, you want to try to line yourself up straight to get as many as you can. I kind of missed that one. That sucks. The war pipe and reach one is like you kind of have to spawn you right in the center. But sometimes it's not as nice you can throw it off. Let's not hold anything there. There we go. What does this sign say? Oh, jump today. There we go. Doing pretty good. Whoa, we got off there. Oh, this is going to be challenging. Whoa, just barely got them. Again, no time limit, so take your time to line up your shot. I think that was my flaw when I was younger. But I never did that. Still keeping it straight. I never fall off the stage when I was younger. It seems super easy now and I'm looking at it. We're pretty close to beating. We're just a thousand off. However, I don't think there's much left. Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> I have to wait a little longer. There we go! Okay, we missed one there, but no big deal. We just need, we're at the last one, but we just need to hit these. Okay, we beat a score by 200 points. I want to say first time, but we got a gutter ball. So, second time! What? You got 5,200 points? Well, I've got to acknowledge you as my greatest rival. And I'll give you the star to prove it. I do believe this is the last time. Never mind. Uh, I was about to say this is the last time we're seeing the chimp, but no. Oh, never mind. Whoops. <laughs> I just remember something we hadn't done yet. Uh oh. Yes, yes, yes! I got it. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Now, I will say this. Past Melty Molten Galaxy here, I don't have much memory of World 5. I'm sorry. I, like, there are actually some galaxies here that I don't remember at all. Like, I remember fanning with some of them all just because they're memorable, like this one and another one that's in this world, but overall, I don't remember much of this galaxy or this world just because I haven't played this world, honestly, since I first played the game. It, that's how long it's been since I've been to this world. It, it's been quite a while. Uh, do you know how many stars I can withdraw? I don't know if I have enough, actually, for that Hungry Luma. 
Yes, yes! Oh, I might not have enough. Yeah, that's not even close. He wanted 1,800. That's, that's not even close. Yeah, we're way off. Uh, but we need to do some more Starbit collecting then, but that completed multi Molten Galaxy. For once, we don't have enough Starbit, so we're just gonna move on to Clockwork Ruins Galaxy. One star, one comet medal. Let's jump in. I vaguely remember this one, but not much of it. I do remember this one being cool, though. Time for adventure! Ready for adventure! Ah, yeah, now I'm getting memories. It's a cool galaxy, I like this one. Yeah, I will say, World 6 is probably my favorite world in the game. Like, as far as gameplay is concerned. I might have said that about World 3 earlier, but now that I'm back in World 6, it's coming back to me, and I do like World 6 a whole lot as well. Less so aesthetically, but gameplay, it's, it's pretty solid. We have the, uh, Slip Sand theme again, which I love. This kind of ruined thing, and we have these pumpkin tools, but let's just grab pound them to get them out of your hair. Uh, we have this giant cork wheel thing, where if you fall off it, that is death, I assure you. And I don't, even though they're sticking to it, I don't think we will. Gravity is still going down for us, I believe, on that wheel, but I'm kind of curious if we can just... Right away, I can skip this. Uh, no. Okay, they thought of that. Uh, we can technically just jump on top of the wheel, though, and skip it entirely, but if we do that, we're probably gonna skip the, uh, Comet Metal! Okay, let's get the other side of the thing. Uh, here comes the best part! I love this song! Okay, uh, let's, let's get the, uh, flying question block. Uh, I say let's get the question block! Wow, that was pretty bad. Uh, let's get on top of the wheel. Okay, hang on. Maybe let's just get to the center of it. This is a really cool level. It vaguely reminds me of, and this is gonna be sound really weird, but the uh, the final world of Little Big Planet, the original Little Big Planet back on PlayStation 3, which is a game I really like, by the way. But it reminds me of that world, just a little less. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. Here's another question block. Whoa, zoom out. I'm reminded of that time back in Fire Princess when the uh, camera zoomed out and then it glitched and just stayed zoomed out. That was, that was creepy. Uh, can I get on top of this again? Yep. Oh, that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, is there any re- what happens if we stay on it? Oh, we, we die. That's what happened. Uh, I was wondering if there was a comet metal somewhere along the thing, but it doesn't look... Wait, there's something down here? Oh! Hi there! 30 coins! Okay, we're not doing this this time, because we don't have enough, but... There's a Hungry Luma here! Okay! I didn't remember that. But I don't remember what the secret mission is. At all. Nice! Good getting in some... I won't say blind territory, but it may as well be blind because I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, let's get in our monster and blast off! This is pretty sexy, pretty galaxy. Uh, I'm probably about to burn my butt with that guy. There we go, nope, I didn't. I, whoa, okay! I'm guessing they shoved me off, that yeah. Just, just to guess. However, I'm curious about that. Okay. How do we... I'm almost sure it's not getting shoved off. That that is probably death. Because why would they have these safe areas here otherwise? But there's a life mushroom. That's a safe area. Wow, it that's a pretty good amount of time in between. Also, we still haven't found the common metal. I don't remember where it is. Uh, uh oh. There we go, just barely. 
Well, not just barely, actually. It, it is pretty lenient now that I'm real now that I'm really looking at it. Uh trying to be cool. I messed up. Uh oh. That time was actually just barely. Let's uh jump across these platforms. Uh don't I don't care about this. Well that crush my black is sideways. Okay, I think I know what's happening here. Yeah, I bet I know what's happening. Why are the coins going up here? Ah! We flip gravity. Whoa! And when we do that, half the planet falls out. I didn't expect that. Okay. Well, the platforms are pushing us up anymore. What's happening up here? Anything at all? We can get up here now. Oh, it even has the same background as Slipstand. I didn't notice that until just now. That explains the music. <laughs> uh, we can just literally skip everything on this planet by just walking the ring. I feel like this is a good spot to hide something we'll see later on. I'm gonna think of that just because it's, we're getting pretty close. Uh, oh, we have, a, we have a Luma cage up there. But not anymore. Uh, I could try and parkour those platforms, but, uh, let's not. <laughs> Thank you! I sent this smell moldy in my cage. But how? It, it had bars. It wasn't like a glass tube. Hop in! Oh, we missed the one up. Well, oh well. This, I, don't, I, want, I don't know if this is the last mission, but it probably is for the episode. We still haven't found the comet metal, though. Anyway, these giant spinny wheels! will crush you with immediate death. A lot of good this, uh, light mushroom is doing me, isn't it? You need to get in the gap for them to stay safe. Uh-oh. Let's move a little faster. Get a one-up. If we get back here, we can actually save ourselves, it looks like. Or that, that, okay. Yeah, it seems like they're always at set points where you're safe at, so... You just kind of gotta observe them and figure out where's the safe area. And maybe not get crushed for that. I saw that. Hold up. I know what's happening. I understand. We need to get back on and right again to get that common medal. Okay. That's cool. Uh-oh. I missed it! And I should get back up. I should really get back up. Okay, maybe I should just wait for a better time to get on. The problem is the camera glitches, and it's annoying. <laughs> there we go, we got on. We got our Comet Medal, let's, uh, let's get in our hidey hole, and make way back up. That's a, that's a cool Comet Medal. Pretty hidden, too. I barely noticed it. Oh, I need to move faster. Do it. Let's make some momentum. And get back up to slow. Got some uh, spikes here. Lovely. I mean, the wall jump up the spike wall before they come back out. Ooh. And I have some nails here. I'm having flashbacks to the dang Chinko machine from Mario Sunshine. <laughs> don't remind me of that nightmare. Oh god! Do I even need those actually? Can I just. Well, I don't need most of them. It auto grabs me onto the uh, last few. Uh. Well, they want us to ground pound, but do we need to? Uh, if I was a Ouija, I could probably make it up there. Oh well. Let's uh, head back down, I guess, and undo a bit of progress. Anything over here? Nope, that's void. <laughs> ah. That's cool. Oh, need to be up here. Uh oh. 
That's a one-up outside of that if you were to drop back down. I am personally not interested in that, though. I don't know if it's possible to get crushed to death in, like, the small area between the uh, lifts there. I don't want to test that, though, because I feel like it probably is possible. What is this? No, that's not the secret star, because it's a hundred little math. I feel like that's where we need to go. So let's let's jump down here and see what's here. Wow, it's like here twice. Uh I'm gonna be better at talking. Oh, it's a coin thing. I mean, now we have a purpose for them. Oh, that's different. Actually we've probably seen this arrangement before now to think about it. Oh, that wasted time. I wasted a bit of time. They're pretty kind, though. There. And serve it! Thank you, because I need them. I, I really need them now, because I don't want to, like, get to Bowser at the end of this world without doing the Hunter Luma mission, preferably. Like, if that happens, I will grind to starve it. I'd rather not have to, but I will do it. <laughs> Let's do the same ground pound and home in on them. Again, that's a really useful ability, just that homing ground pound if you spin and spin and ground pound at the same time. It's really useful, and I never see it used. That's a wow, this really reminds me of Pac-Man World 3. We're back in that again, I say. There's our star. It kind of cool galaxy is well longer than I was expecting for a one-star galaxy. Uh-oh. Oh, we have to write it again, just like we have the comic metal. That's cool. I like this galaxy. I like this galaxy a lot. And I don't know how I've managed to get through it without dying. Or did I die and just forget? I don't remember. I, I think I got through it without dying. Nice. Okay. I keep forgetting how scary the background here is. Out of all the backgrounds for the uh, starship here, this is definitely the most terrifying. Look, we can now advance, but we have unfinished business there. Oh. And we might have unfinished business elsewhere. Hey, it's the Chimp. There's a new game over in the Honey Hop Galaxy. If you think you've got what it takes, hang on by. The chimp. Looks like our last mission in World 4 has finally been made available. I guess we'll handle that and finish up that uh, galaxy just then next episode. So thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I've been Oscar West, and I will see you all next time. Bye!